In today's video, I climb up a ladder and I do some money saving math. Hey everyone, it's Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are having a great day and enjoying your fish. So we're going into the fish room today and we are gonna look at the air system that I installed here in the fish room. So in the long run, an air system is a very important part, a backbone of a fish room. When you have a fish room, air is something that is very nice to have because it has a lot of inexpensive abilities to help your tanks thrive. The most expensive part is buying the air pump. They're not cheap if you buy a good one, but they last long if you buy a good one. So things that you could use a air pump for in a fish room, you can filter with sponge filters. You can use air stones to help uh, break the surface up of the water. And you could also use it for tumbling uh, eggs in an egg tumbler. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pump here. Climb up the ladder. I bought this air pump from Gemco. Uh, it's one of their linear piston pumps, one of the smaller ones. But for what I need, it's perfect. So this pump here, I installed this shelf and put the air pump up here. You always want your air pumps higher up. Now, you can see that it feeds into this PVC that I have running across the entire top of the room. So what this pump is doing is it's filling up this PVC pipe with air and now I have a central air system that I can use wherever I want. If I want to put something over here, an airline, I can. If I want to put one over there, I can. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at these over here. What's great about doing a central air system versus multiple pumps Again, is you can put these valves anywhere you want on this line because it's all pressurized with air. So you just get a screw gun and you go ahead and you screw, uh, get a drill bit that they send with you and you drill a hole in the bottom and then you drill the uh, valves on. You hook them up and you're good to go. So that is one of the best things and advantages to doing a central air system on something like a fish room with multiple tanks. You can see I also got two lines running on this side of the room and I got lines running on this side of the room. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the sponge filters that I have running off of the central air system. So we're going to go ahead and turn the light on here in uh, my Lepturus Green Aquarium. Uh, so on this tank I got, let's see, one, two, and three. Three sponge filters running on this tank at the moment. Um, I also have a canister on here. With my breeding tanks, I like canister filters, um, but it would be just fine with these three sponge filters. Absolutely just fine. But now I always have seeded media as well. But they do a great job. Once the detritus breaks down, it gets into the sponge. It does what it does. It filters it out. Um, well, not out, but it filters it. That's a big advantage to doing an air system in your fish room is because sponge filters are cheap. They're not expensive. Like this big one right here is rated for 125 gallons. And I'm pretty sure I paid 13 bucks for it. That's cheap. Now the air pump, that was closer to $200. But again, if you're gonna go and do $200 on an air pump, give or take, 13 bucks, let's just say $15 a sponge and you have 10 tanks, 15 sponges, that's 150 bucks, add a couple extra. So say you spend $200 on sponges and you spend $200 on the pump and then the line, you get bulk line, super cheap. You go and you get the uh, adapter, or excuse me, the valves cheap, all this from Gemco. And you know, you're probably talking $500. Kind of seems like a lot of money, but if you're doing a fish room and this is something you're doing and you want to use air, think about this. Okay, HOB, HOB, HOB. Now, HOB filters, if you're going to want something to filter this very well, you're going to spend 30, 40 bucks. So 40, 80, 120. 
160, 200, 240. That's just these tanks here. Now, if you're gonna wanna run canister filters on these tanks, let's say you wanna run FX6, 300 bucks, give or take. You got $1,200 in FX6 plus this here. So you got $1,400 worth of filters in this room versus 500 with an air system that you can do a lot with. But yeah, this is a super awesome system. It was fun to install. Um, I really made sure everything was level when I did this because I have OCD and uh, it had to be straight. And that's just uh, that's just you know part of what I did here in the fish room. I wanted it to be perfect. So this system is currently filtering these three here in the left turner screen tank. It is currently filtering these here in a spare tank. It's filtering this one here. This one might be off of this small one that I had because I didn't want to go up there and drill. But uh, this one, these right here are both ran by the system up there. This is ran by the system. That's ran, these two are ran by the system. I need to do something with this tank, but those were ran by the system. So you can see I got a lot going on here. Uh, and this pump does a magnificent job with helping filter my fish room. So the biggest thing is, if you're gonna start a fish room, an air system in the long run is gonna be your best or one of your best investments because if you buy a big enough pump, you're gonna be able to filter and have lines all over the place and you're not gonna have any problems. So again, you might be spending five, 600 bucks on a setup. If you get smaller sponges, they're gonna be cheaper, but again, in the long run, let's say you're up to 50 tanks, in the long run, buying inexpensive sponge filters at wholesale is much cheaper than buying hang on back filters, canister filters. So in the long run, an air system is a very important part, a backbone of a fish room. So I wanted to share that with you guys, let you guys know this is what's filtering all these sponges in the fish room. Super cool, fun to do. If you're gonna do a fish room, I highly recommend doing a central air system versus buying a bunch of these because you know these cost 20, 30 bucks and some of them only have two outlets. So you're, you know, you're gonna have to spend a lot of money on here. Why not spend the extra money and get the central air system so that you uh, have unlimited amounts of areas? Like I said, I, if I wanna go and put a line right here, I can. I could do that. So anyway, thank you for watching everybody. If you could comment, like the video, subscribe, that would be amazing. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Stay tanked.